So if you own a 13 to 18, a 3.6 liter powered Ram 1500, you're looking for an excellent first mod. You want to clean up the engine bay with a really cool intake, something that's old school looking. But more importantly, you want to make some impressive horsepower and torque gains without actually tuning your truck. Then you should be checking out the K&N Series 77 cold air intake. Underneath the hood, let's face it, that factory intake system is pretty ugly. You got that really bulky plastic box there with that paper filter kind of suffocating that motor. And you got that really ugly plastic intake tube with that cover over there. It just doesn't look that good in my humble opinion. k and does away with all of that. They got a really classic kind of hot rod look here. You got the open element design. You got a powder coated heat shield here, which does retain the factory colder inlet, by the way. Get that nice cold, dense air to the motor to make that performance. And you got this really nice metal intake tube here, which is aluminum, by the way. It's not steel, so you're not going to have to worry about that rusting out on you. This also installs very easily. Our site says it should take you two or three hours with moderate skill, but honestly, this is probably one of the easiest installs you can tackle. I'm going to give this a very soft two out of three wrenches on my difficulty meter. You only need basic hand tools. You should be able to get this done in about an hour or two, and that's honestly if you're taking your time. So again, you want a good first mod for your 3.6 liter powered Ram 1500. You want to clean up underneath the engine bay there, start making things look the way they should, and you want to make some good performance. Go ahead and stick it around. I'm going to show you guys exactly what tools you need in just a second, and then I'm going to walk you through the entire install step by step. All right, guys, before we start installing our intake, we'll need to grab a couple of standard drive ratchets, and we're also going to need an 8 millimeter and 13 millimeter socket. Lastly, you're going to need a 5 30 seconds Allen key, a measuring tape, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a cutting tool or a pair of snips. Optional but helpful tools include a long extension and some spray lubricant. All right, we're starting over on the driver's side here. We're going to disconnect our intake temperature sensor, just press down on it like so. And we're going to loosen the clamp that secures the intake to the throttle body using an 8 millimeter socket. All right, next we're going to disconnect the breather hose located back here behind the cover. Just press on it on the bottom and the clip should release like so. All right, next we're going to disconnect the clamp here that secures the tube to the factory air box. You're also going to need that 8mm socket. All right, with everything disconnected, you can pull the factory air box out of the vehicle. It's just held in with a couple of rubber grommets so you don't need any tools for this one. All right, with our air box out of the way, we can also remove the factory air tube. Now, it might be held on with some rubber grommets in the back. You just got to kind of wiggle your way out of them. All right, so now we have our factory air system removed. You can see what a nice upgrade the new K&N system is in terms of aesthetics, right? We're ditching all this ugly plastic. We're getting rid of this big, ugly box here. We got a really nice black powder-coated heat shield. You'll be able to see the conical filter in there doing its job underneath the hood with the motor on. And you got this really nice intake tube here made out of aluminum with a nice silver finish on it. So overall, very old school, classic look from K&N, and rightly so, right? We definitely don't want any boring stuff underneath the hood. But before we ditch all this stuff, we have to do a couple of things. We have to pull rubber grommet on the bottom of this, transfer it over to our new heat shield, and we also need to make sure we rescue our intake temperature sensor. All right, once you've rescued that grommet and the temperature sensor, you can discard the factory air system. Next, we're gonna assemble our heat shield here. You got this fresh air scoop that you need to secure to the primary box. To do that, you're gonna grab four of the Allen head bolts provided in the kit, and you're gonna need one of those crush washers and flat washers for each one. Now, you're also gonna need an Allen key, specifically a 5 30 seconds. All right, now we have our heat shield assembled. We're gonna install the adapter for the air filter next. If you hadn't guessed why you have two extra screws, well, they're gonna fit inside these little threaded holes right here. So you're also gonna need that 5 30 seconds Allen key that we were just using. All right, now that we have our air filter adapter in place, we're gonna cut our edge trim piece here into two sections. One's gonna be 29 inches and one's gonna be 23 and a half inches. All 
All right, with those trim pieces cut, you can start applying them to the air box. The long piece goes on top like so, and the small piece is gonna encapsulate these cold air scoops. All right, next we're gonna install that rubber grommet we took from the factory air box in the hole here on the bottom of the new one. This is a squeeze, so it's helpful to spray it down with some spray lubricant or some WD-40. Once that's in place, you can install your air filter. You're gonna need the large clamp in the kit, and you're also gonna need that eight millimeter socket that you've been using the whole time. All right, now you can finally put your heat shield aside. We're gonna do a little bit of work to our new intake tube here. We have to install this little fitting here for our breather hose that's gonna go in the threaded holes right here. Now these are plastic threads, so you wanna keep them hand tight. You don't really wanna use any tools on these so you don't strip them out. Then once you got that fitting in there, you can install your intake temperature sensor in this little rubber grommet right here. All right, now our air tube is also ready to go. The last thing we have to do is set up our new breather hose. Now they provide a really small clamp in the kit. You'll need a Phillips head screwdriver for this guy. Go ahead and throw this barb fitting in the end of there and secure it with that clamp. All right, so we turned a bunch of hardware and parts into a couple of primary components. First thing we're gonna do is throw our new air box in place. It does secure with some of the bolts inside the engine bay, so you're gonna need a 13 millimeter socket. I'll show you guys where those go. All right, so before we throw the air box in, you're gonna be pulling these two 13 millimeter bolts. Again, you'll need that 13 millimeter socket. All right, now you can throw your air box in, make sure the cold air scoop lines up with that hole inside the fender, and also make sure that rubber grommet you just installed lines up with the little plastic stud underneath. Then you can throw those bolts back in place and tighten them down. All right, with the air box secured, we're gonna throw on our intake tube here. It's helpful to have the intake slide onto the air box side first, because that coupler has a little bit of flex in it. Once you get that flush, go ahead and slide the other end onto the throttle body and tighten down all your clamps with that same eight millimeter socket. All right, while we're over here, we're gonna reconnect our intake temperature sensor. We're also gonna throw on our breather hose extension. So once you got those final clamps tightened down, that'll wrap up this very easy install. And that also wraps up my review of the k Series 77 Colder intake, fitting your 3.6 liter powered Ram 1500. I'm Travis, thanks for watching, and for all things Ram, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.